Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we'll study about a scenario where we have to copy PDF from HTTP endpoint to Azure storage account or the blob storage. So the scenario looks like if we go to the whiteboard, here we have a URL, okay, or you can say the HTTP endpoint, okay, endpoint, and here at this URL, we have a PDF file, okay, with some data. And in Azure, we have our storage account where inside a folder, we want to land this PDF, entire PDF, we have to copy. So this we are going to accomplish by ADF using copy data activity, okay. Now the configuration we'll learn in this video. So let's go to the sample file first of all. So here we'll search for sample PDF file. Okay. So there are many PDF files. We could take any of these. So let's take this ICSC related data here. It is a sample PDF document with the URL here mentioned at the top. It is ICSCindia.org something something. So we'll just Take note of this URL and we have to go to now and now we have to go to the ADF. So let's go to the ADF and start creating the pipeline. So click on plus new, name this pipeline as pipeline, copy PDF to blob and we'll take the copy data activity from the move and transform tab and in the copy data activity we'll directly jump to the source setting we'll leave the general as is and connect to the data set now this is important the data set has to be http endpoint okay the http connector if we try to learn about the http connector we can go here and search for http endpoint link service in adf it will open us this page okay copy data from an http source so this page will give us the detail about HTTP connector as well as the difference between HTTP REST and web table connector. So for our purpose, this purpose of copying the PDF will use HTTP connector. The capabilities it is written, it supports copy data activity, lookup activity and the other prerequisites. Then how we can use it, how we can create this link service. So the name of this is HTTP, we'll create it in the same way. Then the other properties are given and then at the last we have the data set properties which all file formats it supports. So we have to select one of these file formats for the copy data activity. Let's quickly go back here to the ADF and try to connect to the data set. We'll click on plus new in the source data set and here we'll search for HTTP. After writing HTTP we get this HTTP connector. Okay, so we'll click on HTTP and continue and here we'll select the format type of the data as delimited text and we'll name it as save pdf input link service we do not have for this so we'll create one new link service plus new http server for saving pdf file okay let's name it as http server saving pdf then integration runtime as is will here paste the URL which we have copied. Okay, it was this URL, right? Let's cross check. Yeah, the URL is correct. We'll just paste it here. Next setting, we'll leave it as is. Authentication type will make for this demo purpose as anonymous. Okay, rest of the settings will be as is. Now at the bottom right side, we have this test connection. We'll click over it and see. If it's successful so yeah it shows connection successful now we'll click on create it is showing that it will be created so the link service is selected here which we have created just now we'll leave the next setting that is the relative URL as is first row as header and other settings as is so we'll click OK right so we have connected to the source data set now we'll go to the sync dataset 
and want to land it into the storage account. So let me first show you the storage account. So here we are inside the storage Gen2 account and we, we will and we will land the file inside the test output folder inside the new out folder test output container new out folder so here we will connect to the sync data set as data lake storage gen2 account as delimited text let's name it as save pdf output link service for the storage account we already have we'll select that we'll browse to the file path we'll take it as test output new output folder select it up to this level then we'll leave the setting as is click ok right and we'll open this sync data set one important thing is that here in the file path we have to give the file name also because the pdf which is going to be copied has to have a name to be saved at this location with extension dot pdf it will be sample pdf dot pdf sample pdf dot pdf so this is done for this data set output data set this looks good we will validate the pipeline and we'll publish the changes and try to perform a debug run let's click on debug and wait for the execution to complete copy data one is queued if we refresh here, we could see it is in progress. In the meantime, we'll open this test output and here we'll click on refresh. Yep, we could see here that the sample pdf.pdf is generated. And if we go back to the pipeline, it also shows succeeded. It completed within 10 seconds. So let's try to open here the sample pdf.pdf if we click over it. Since it's a PDF, we cannot view it here. Okay. If we click on edit, it will not give us the preview. So in order to view this PDF, we have to download. So here at the top, we have the option to download. We'll click on download and we'll save it here. Let's click on save and then try to open this PDF. Yeah. So if we try to open it, it will show us the same document which we have tried to connect via the HTTP connector. This was the document. Okay, at this site, and now we have it downloaded, copied into our storage account. So this is how we can connect to the HTTP endpoint and fetch the data from there and copy it to the storage account. I hope you understood this video. Thank you for watching. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries. Happy learning. Bye.